Hello, Tim Iribunum was my man of the match on Saturday. I give him it in my instant match reaction video. And this is something we're going to be doing all season. I am going to be looking at the man of the match ad picked from the game on a Monday or Tuesday or whenever it is, uh, and go back through their statistics from the game and have a look whether it sort of marries up with what I saw at the time and my emotional decision for Man of the Match. I'm sure there'll be lots of times when I get it wrong. Let's see if I'm going to start the season with a, a you know a accurate representation of what my eyes saw with the stats. So like I say, on Saturday... I thought Tim Irabunum was Everton's best player. Obviously, his Premier League debut for us. He'd done really well in pre-season, I thought. Uh, whether he'd have been in the team of James Garner was fit, I don't know. I don't think so. I think he may well have been sub. But what he's done is he's got in and he's took his, his um, opportunity. And he seems to have got better and better in pre-season. And I think once he gets fitter up to the Premier League speed each week, I think he'll get better and better. And hopefully... He'll give the manager something to think about when James Garner is fit. Maybe James Garner will go and play right back. Who knows? But that is what we want. We want the manager having lots of difficult decisions to make, not just picking 11 plays that we can all pick because we know the manager does that. So it I think, has been a real positive this summer and he, he proved it on Saturday. But let's get into his stats and see whether or not my eyes were deceiving me at the weekend. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at here is his passing, uh, his passing stats from the weekend. No assists, obviously. Evan didn't score a goal. Expected assists, 0.01. He completed 17 successful passes. A passing accuracy, just under 61%. Uh, accurate long balls. He tried five of those. Three were accurate. He had a long ball accuracy of 60%. So these are his sort of defensive stats, if you like. Uh, he won five tackles, went in for nine tackles. He won five of them. That gave him a 55.6% uh, success rate. He uh, won 12 duels. Um, and out of, you know, that gave him 57% accurate in the duels. Uh, one aerial duel, one out of two. He had four interceptions. He had um, a blocked shot, committed two fouls, had 13 ball recoveries, which was more than any other player on the pitch at the weekend. And he won possession back once in the final third. One thing I thought Irabunum did really well at the weekend was travel with the ball. He, you know, I thought when he picked it up and he goes through the gears, he looks like he can move the ball beyond plays. He's got good feet. He did that really well. I think he had more uh, carries than any other player, certainly in the Everton team at the weekend. I think he had 26 uh, progressive carries at the weekend. Uh, so let's have a look at his these stats as well. He had one successful dribble uh, out of two. 56 touches of the ball. He touched the ball three times in the opposition box. And he was dispossessed on five occasions, which isn't a huge amount. And when you look at it like that, you know, with his tackles and with his interceptions, Everton put a graphic up um, at the weekend, you know, 13 ball recoveries. He was ranked first, 13 tackles and interceptions. He was ranked first out the game and 26 ball carries from a midfield play, which I think is massive for us. I just don't think... We, we have players who do that anywhere, you know, near good enough for what we need for uh, for our team. So hopefully that's what we'll do. Hopefully we will um, we'll progress each week. He'll get better and better and we can we can be in a bit more control of what we're actually trying to do. If we look now at his, uh, his pass map, you can see there the, the successful passes are the ones in blue. The, the, uh, the other ones obviously misplaced passes. So a range of passing... A little bit too much out to the wings, I think, there. I think we need them to be playing through the middle a little bit more. But again, that'll be down to what we're doing. That You know, we need to be... We can't be so predictable that everything goes wide because uh, we simply don't get enough balls into the box anyway. But we're going to have to mix that up. But that was what he was doing the weekend. And let's have a look at his heat map as well. So, obviously, the, the redder colours are where he spent most of the time. So, you know, moved about the pitch really well. I think he's got a, a nice little partnership in there with Adrissa Garner Gay. I think, like I said, James Garner may well have been in there had he been fit. There may be times when the three of those play in, as a proper midfield three of the manager. I don't know how he would, would do that, lose the number 10, maybe, at times with it being Decore. But Irabunum, to me, looks like someone who can really develop and be an important player for us. Physically, he's very good. And like I say, he's got a different profile than the other two. He does travel really well with the ball. 
put tackles in, won the ball back a number of times. And hopefully, as his confidence grows and as the team settles down, he will become an important player for us. And he certainly looks like a really good bit of business by Everton at this early stage. I must stress that it is very early, you know, and I don't want to be going fully all in on him and putting any any more pressure on him. But he's made a good start, in my opinion, and hopefully that'll um, that'll continue to grow, you know, and hopefully he can add goals as well. And this is the final the final thing I want to look at. He had two shots at the weekend, and this is that. He had one shot edge of the box that was blocked. His other one, um, that's the one with the, the mark round it, that got blocked. The other one was a clear shot, which he whipped just wide off the far post at the park end early on. That had an XG of 0.14. I want to see him do more than that, more with that. He travelled really well with the ball for that shot, and he just tried to uh, steer it into the far corner and just didn't quite get his angles right. We need our midfield players scoring goals. This team doesn't score anywhere near enough goals. But I really do think Tim Aribunum made a good start at the weekend. When you go through the likes of Sofa score and who scored, who rate their players, he was up there with Everton's best players anyway, What how they did it. He got a 6.8. And if you look at, I've just got Sofa score up here. James Tarkovsky, Jordan Pickford was, was Everton's highest rated according to... Um, to sofa score, but then Tarkovsky, Keane, Irabunum, all Everton's next highest race of plays, then Jack Harrison. So I know they do it slightly differently. I'm just doing it from my eyes and then looking at the stats and seeing if they back it up. But I haven't seen anything that has made me think I got it massively wrong at the weekend. So that's not a bad starting point. Let's see how we go through the season. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Was Irabunum? your best player at the weekend for Everton or did you see somebody else as Everton's best player on what was a really, really disappointing and opening day? But I think this will be interesting throughout the season to do. And also, it'll be an easier way for me to know who I awarded most man of the matches to at the end of the season. So thank you very much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.